Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how OIC integration can subscribe to Oracle SCM Cloud Atom feeds. If you have not watched that video, please check out the video. I will give the link in the card section. In this video, we are going to learn how to import bulk data using SCM data loader that is HDL with the help of OIC integration. There are two methods or two approaches with the help of which we can import bulk data using HDL. Method one that is by using import bulk data using HDL invoke action within this HCM cloud adapter which is available out of the box in OIC integration. Method two is we have to upload HDL file to UCM server then we have to run import and load data service from SCM data loader. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle for SCM cloud adapter. There are few prerequisites which you need to follow for creating the connection. We have already covered all those things. How to create a connection. Please check out our previous video. Coming to implement common patterns using Oracle SCM Cloud Adapter. We have to go to this import business objects with SCM data loader. Oracle has provided all the steps which we need to follow in order to import the data or business object into SCM Cloud with the help of import bulk data using SCM data loader approach. That is the method one. So in this video, we will cover method 1. In our next video, we will cover this method 2 approach. I have used exactly the same methods in order to build the integration. I will go to Oracle integration console and walk you through the integration. Import worker test 2 is my integration which I have created for importing bulk data into SCM cloud. Here the approach what I have followed is I will get the data that is worker related data from my downstream application. It could be EBS or any other application in the form of XML. So what I am doing is, first of all, I am downloading that file into OIC virtual space. Then I am reading that XML file and writing into the format that is HDL format. I will show you what and how it looks like. Then I am zipping that dat folder as we have to always upload .zip file to HCM for importing any data. In your case, you might get this data from some web services or any other application not for as a file it might differ in your case so basically this worker information will carry the personal details work details work history details work relationship details with the organization which you are joining all those stuffs if you go to view business objects in your hcm cloud you can query for the business object which you want to import with the help of hdl in this case i am importing worker business object so i am querying for worker once you query for your business object, you can query over file and uh, business object as well. In most of the cases, this will carry the same name, business objects and the file name. On the right side, if you scroll towards right, there is this template file. If you download, it will download a dat file. It will look something like this. So you can delete this comment. So basically, our OIC integration is creating that dat file over here. Once we get the data, all the information, it is creating this dat file. And that dat file, it is zipping in this action basically this dat file is having a metadata this is something like a header you can say i believe everyone of us who ever is watching this video already knows about dat file hdl file how the hdl uh, dat file will look like and all if you don't know i will explain in high level so metadata is something like a header and something which follows like merge and then this is considered as a line details okay it can have n number of lines Suppose if you want to import 5 new employees. So this is the header. So first is a metadata. Something with metadata it signifies as a header. For line we have to mention it as merge. Under worker we can provide some details. What is the worker? A, B, C something like that. Followed by this pipe delimiter. Person DFF, person ID. All those things we can provide. When is the effective start date of a person and all. If you go through this documentation that is load and extract oracle human resources cloud data by using oracle soa cloud service here oracle has explained very nicely how to prepare the dat file and also it has shared how we can create a native schema file as well in order to generate the dat file so if you open this write file stage activity over here here i have provided this as to describe the structure of the file content i have selected xsd now if i have selected xsd i need to supply the xsd schema now how we are going to prepare this is again documented over here we need to prepare the native schema first we need to create the header wherein it will tell the nxsd version 
encoding what is the line terminator and all followed by the item or the business objects in this case they have considered the profile file data if you observe closely there will be a header over here if you scroll towards right it says starts with metadata anything which starts with merge is the value talent profile label and the value this is something as a header this is line item similarly they have considered one more business object that is profile item label and the profile item like this we can create an xsd in our case we are going to import the worker we have to create the nxsd for this worker personal address so and so okay if you consider the nxsd which i have created it will have a worker label worker personal legislative data label personal legislative data this is the header this is the value similarly it is for other business objects like this we can create the nxsd for more details you can refer this documentation link i will give the link in the blog please refer my blog for more details once you have created the nxsd we have to generate the file with the help of that and create a file zip the file suppose if you want to know what are mandatory in most of the cases uh, we won't send those details like the person passport uh, religion details ethnicity and all we are just interested in the worker person address work relationship and all now in order to know that click on this business object if you click on the business object if you click on the components over here it there will be a tag required that is this is required for new records okay if you click on the attributes you will get the details like how we are seeing over here that is the person id effective start date and all here again there will be required tag if you are passing these details then these are required again there are few rows which is required only for new records if I, if you are up updating any record then those are not required okay this we have to consider likewise we are having other components like work relationship this if you see this is required for new records if you click on this user information here that required is not there so this is optional you can send or you can opt out to not send this as well if you click on work relationship and go to attributes there are there might be few attributes which are required for new records like there are few over here work type date start okay there are then there are few which are not mandatory and there are few which you must send if you are creating a new or it is for update once you create that add file next what you have to do is we have to make use of hcl cloud adapter i will open the wizard in actions you have to select import bulk data using hdl in next you have to select this submit an hcl data loader job then it will ask for security group and doc account based on the security group and doc you have to select the appropriate data loader job and click on done and in the mapping you have to pass the file reference of the zip file okay like this and in parameters you can refer more details for this in documentation once you import the file into hdl next is it will give you the process id that we can assign over here and we can check the status of that process in the continuous while loop this loop will repeat until that import job is completed now in hdl now in order to check the status you have to again go for this actions select this hdl and then here you have to select this query the status of an scm data loader job and done that's it here in the mapping you have to pass the process id which you got from previous action that is import hdl file so the status output of this status we have to assign it over here and check over here in while loop so here the status of import job we have to check not the load or any other thing so under import there will be a status that you have to check the status if it is completed then this loop will stop so if there is any error and all accordingly you can have a logic over here so like this we can make use of oracle integration cloud and import bulk data into hcm cloud suppose if there is any error while importing data into hcm you can always come over here in import and load data and you can provide the file name which you imported into hcm over here and query it will show you if there is any error over here import error or the load error so load error it will throw if there is any functional validation issues import error if there is any technical issues at the time of importing it will be validated over here suppose if something is required and you are not sending then that will be thrown and the value validation will be done at the load so if any errors you can click on the message and check the details why it error and you can correct and reprocess the file like this we can make use of oracle integration cloud and import bulk data in our rest video we will see how to do this with the method to approach that is by uploading a file to UCM server. Please like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video.